painful cycle, you know, that the grief is has me on. And I'm not, you know, sometimes I'm mad at it. Sometimes I want it, I want it gone. And then there's these beautiful points of of realization and insight where I welcome it, where I touch the part of my body that's aching and I say, thank you for visiting me. I touch the part of my body that is in discomfort, that it's tense, that is inflamed. And I say, thank you for visiting me and I love you. So I'm opening up to this, the to the somatic response my body's having to the grief in a whole new way, which is incredible and also really painful. This is how I'm doing these days. It's really dealing with a lot of physical things coming up and also knowing that there are a direct reflection of how severe the grief has been. And as I'm talking, I can already, um, oof, I can already feel myself welling up, just, just touching into that. Mm. <sighs> yeah. And so it's been hard, you know, and also, um, to tie into the, the chaplaincy work, it's it's insane. People look at people from my family and, and group of friends, they're like, it doesn't make sense that you are in a hospital for these amount of hours on a weekly basis. It doesn't make sense that you're caring for the dying, that you're caring for the sick. It doesn't make sense that you're being the refuge to the family members of the dying patient. It doesn't make sense that you are there for them. And just like the, this, the the physical discomfort that I'm experiencing now, it's helping me to have, um, it's developing a whole new level of empathy for patients who are dealing with chronic illness, terminal illness, with ongoing discomfort, ongoing pain. Same thing, the death of my mother experiencing what I experienced in a hospital when she was dying and dead was so tragic that it, it felt like a natural step for me to enter into that space. And obviously I work at one of the best hospitals in, in the world, we can say, right? Cedar sinai is incredible. And they have an amazing uh, clinical pastor education program, which I'm part of. And it's mind blowing how, how much spirituality is a part of the holistic approach to healing in this hospital. It's like incredible. I am like places like this exist, you know, especially such huge institutions like this. Mm -hmm. So the work in a, in a hospital has been hard, confusing, heartbreaking, but also deeply inspiring and deeply profound. And also a whole new way of care 